This will be it. The final episode of the first ever surviving summer season of reviews. I know you're upset, but hey, it'll be back next year. Get it? Your Okay. In the days of darkness, when there is no hope for light, the only thing you can do is try and survive. You're the hunter from the future. I am your, I come from the high mountains. The 1983 post-apocalyptic yet prehistoric film that spoils it's a post-apocalyptic film right from the freaking title. Let alone the poster art. The plot. See what I told you? Your, played by Reb Brown, has stumbled upon a tribe and saves them from the dreaded herbivore. No sooner he makes himself at home in the tribe does a pack of purple cavemen storm in and take their woman and children. Now, Yor and his merry band of cave members must seek a woman who bears the same medallion as the blonde beefcake and figure out his true identity. This is one of the best So Bad It's Good movies I've reviewed during this season, and I loved a majority of this ridiculous flick. There are some slow parts, and it is beyond dumb, but other than that, let's get into the pros. Reb Brown is full-on bronze over brains in this film. I feel this is one of his best performances, while simultaneously being his most unintentionally hilarious, probably due to the fact that he was dubbed. Except for when he was in that one scene where he goes, yeah, but it really he's going, bourbon. That was a terrible burp. What am I doing? Everything from the dialogue, characters, effects, and music are a cheeseball fest in the making. We will need a lot more hemp when we hear these line deliveries. I will not say it is unquotable because that is simply not true. There are a lot of memorable one-liners. Each character seems to be having a blast with their roles and goes along with the goofy film. Luciano Pagosi from Strike Commando, Exterminators of the Year 3000, etc., has this old man appearance, but he does outrageous things like a trapeze stunt to save Yor. His character of Peg is energetic and memorable. French actress Corinne Clary plays Kala. She is protective of Yor and gets jealous when another woman starts to fall for him. She has no problem accepting Enna's medallion when she presents it to her. Speaking of Enna, her appearance in this film is short, but actress Carol Andre does leave a lasting impression. Director Antonio Margariti, who also directed Killer Fish, Cannibal Apocalypse, and The Last Hunter, brings a charm to the film that goes well with its lighthearted nature. What isn't light in this film is the action. The gore, the effects, there's blood. Not too much, but not devoid of it either. What makes this movie so special in terms of effects are the action scenes. They are laughably bad, but done in such a way that makes us laugh with it every time. I love that every time someone does something so mind-blowingly crazy, your jingle kicks in. Speaking of his jingle, the motion picture soundtrack, I love the your theme song, as do many others. I think the music was done by Oliver Onions, I'm not 100% sure on that. The lyrics might not make a lick of sense most of the time, but it's still enjoyable. Composer John Scott made a very heartfelt soundtrack that can be quite emotional at times, especially the violinist's portions. This is an excellent example of a film that is so bad it's good. They put tons of effort into this little movie, and for that I'd say check it out for sure. Your truly is the man. Overall, I give your the hunter from the future a four out of five. Just a little send off. I'm going to miss doing these every Thursday. I'll have to wait till next summer to do more of them. But I really enjoyed doing these surviving summer videos, and I can't wait to do it again next summer. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.